Hi everyone. I hope everyone's having a great summer so far. Um, today's video, I am going to unbox two things from Louis Vuitton. One is a perfume, another is a wallet. So I'm going to start with the wallet. I've been wanting to get a wallet for quite a while. And um, I wasn't sure. I was uh, stuck between two choices. I wanted a Sarah wallet or I wanted... Which one is this? Is this a Rosalie? Oh my god, I can't remember. Hold on, let me look up the name. I'll be right back. So this is the Victoria wallet. This is what it looks like. Here it is. It's the monogram canvas with the rose ballerine interior. And I don't have anything that's in any type of pink. So for the first time, I decided to get something that has a hint of pink. I thought it looked really pretty and um, I, I don't want all of my SLGs to be exactly matchy-matchy. I just like something a little bit different. I mean, all of my uh, Louis Vuitton accessories or the SLGs. So this is what it looks like. It's a decent size. Um, the one I use currently, the green one, I showcase in every video. Uh, that one is a tad bit smaller than this one, but it's been pretty, it's pretty beat up by now after two years of use. So I was um, deciding between the Sarah wallet, which is a full size wallet, which I believe is this big, but um, I've been using smaller bags and I want something that I can just throw in any bag. So it has a cash slot right here. It has six card slots, but then it has this additional place for um, extra cards right here. It has a little coin pouch right here. I generally don't like to carry a lot of coins with me, but um, maybe I can use it for receipts or um, something else because um, I kind of want to buy a separate coin pouch so my only concern with this wallet was the opening here because I always make sure all my wallets have zip closure because I've had bad experience in the past where my cards fell out. But then again, that wallet was from a different brand. I can't remember. I think it was from Tory Burch and it was a good leather wallet. But then my essay said, you can't compare Tory Burch to Louis Vuitton and it's not going to happen to you. So I said, okay, well, I'll take your word for it. And the fact that it's really pretty and I really, really want it. So, okay, I'll take chance. But yeah, looking at it, I don't think my cards are going to fall out because um, this is um, not too loose. And since it's not leather, this is canvas. Let me see. Oh, wait, this is leather. The inside is cowhide leather. Oh, that's really good. Okay, so the outside is monogram canvas. And then this is all leather. But let's just hope. This doesn't happen if it does i will definitely let you know so this is what that looks like and then for the second unboxing of the episode so now on to the second unboxing which is a perfume and this is what it looks like i love the packaging it's always fun to open the new time Here's a few samples. I'm sorry if my um, unpacking is louder than my speaking. It's a new mic I'm trying. Um, so here's a few samples. And this is what the packaging looks like. I already have um, a perfume from Louis Vuitton, which is a Trap Rev, which has been my favorite for a long time. And they gave me a bunch of samples last time I was in the boutique, and I ended up liking this one a lot. So I went back to purchase it, and it's Spell on You, and it's really nice. Also, um, I kind of got tired of wearing the same perfume for a very long time. I didn't want to get sick of it. Even though I have other perfumes, but ever since I bought the Trap Rev, I've just been using it nonstop for over a year and also there's a fun tip i always keep these boxes and i use this for um a travel box this is what it looks like and i love the pink i think it's very very pretty 
so I'm no perfume expert, so I can't tell you what the top notes are and anything else. I just know that I love this perfume. And I'd definitely try, I'd definitely try to see. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit fruity, and a little bit floral. That's so many categories of mixing into one. But um, I think it's really nice. It's light enough where I can wear it in the summer, but it's also if you put on a few extra spritz, it's good, good for nighttime also. And it's really pretty. I love to look at it. And I like it. And that's, if you want me to do um, a comparison between Spell and You and Attract Rev, please do let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you like my content, please subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.